From mythical foxes and shape-shifting raccoon dogs to vengeful spirits and human-eating spiders, Japanese folklore is full of fascinating creatures born from people's observations of the inexplicable. Many of them have jumped straight from the pages of myth and into popular culture. These same supernatural beings, yokai, strange monsters, and ghosts may be big or small, comical or terrifying, but all of them are sure to spark your imagination. Kappa Japanese summers are infamously hot, and sometimes the beckoning call of a glistening cool riverbed might just be too great a temptation to resist. However, best refrain from taking a dive because surely the kappa is lurking, waiting for you to just get a little too close in. Splash! The kappa will drag you to your watery grave, never to be seen again. Somewhat a cross between a turtle and a monkey, this is one scaly encounter you best avoid. Kappa are best known for on top of their heads, they have a hollow plate that stays full of water while they are on land. If they bow too far forward, the water will spill and they will be forced to serve your bidding. For some reason, kappas are said to love cucumbers. If you ever suspect an angry kappa in nearby waters, offer a cucumber and make a friend for life. Tengu The Tengu, literally translated as a sky dog, can be equal parts mischievous and equal parts helpful. That is of course depending on their mood. Characterized by their long red nose, monk robes, and powerful yet tiny wings, Tengu are thought to be the inhibitors of the mountains, and choose to bring chaos and trouble to travelers simply for the fun of it. Tengu are best known for When elephants were first introduced to Japan, unsure what to call the strange creature many referred to them as Tengu given that they both were characterized by a long nose. In Japanese, if you are arrogant, People will call you a Tengu as the creature is said to look down on humans, hence their enjoyment of causing trouble. Oni Perhaps one of the most feared monsters in all the land of the rising sun, the Oni is a brutish beast towering at over 3 meters tall, and is typically said to wear the skin of a tiger as a loincloth as their only form of garb. The Oni can be red, blue, or even white and is said to be of short temper, solving problems with a large iron bat rather than with its brain. Oni are best known for Getting caught by an Oni is not going to end well. That's why in Japanese, the game of tag is called Oni Gaku or acting like an Oni. Players must run from the Oni like their life depends on it. The Japanese holiday of Satsuban is dedicated to warning off terrifying Oni through a bean throwing ceremony. Every year on Satsuban, Japanese families throw beans and chant out with the Oni. In with the good luck? Kitsune while just a regular fox may not sound like such a mythological creature, in Japan it is believed that foxes or kitsune hold special magical powers and can even transform into humans. Kitsune love to use this power to play tricks and prank on suspecting humans, and so if you feel like someone you know is acting just a little bit off, it might just be a kitsune looking for a bit of fun. Kitsune are best known for It is said that with age a kitsune grows wiser, and for every 100 years a kitsune lives, it grows an extra tail. However, the lifespan of a kitsune is less than 1,000 years, and so the maximum number of tails a kitsune will ever have is always nine or less. Kitsune are renowned to take the form of beautiful women and live the lives of humans. However, it is said that if a kitsune gets careless or perhaps indulges in some alcohol, their tail will pop right out and give them away. Rikuro QB Imagine waking up to see your head already halfway out the door. Welcome to the life of Arakura QB, a yokai that by day appears to be just an average woman but at night. Her head stretches incredible lengths and wanders the city searching for mischief or even sometimes revenge. Rakirobi are best known for. Unlike most Japanese yokai, Rakura QB are born humans and are often transformed by magic or a curse into this frightening state. The favorite food of the Rakirobi is thought to be lamb oil. In many legends, some women curse to be a Rakura QB actually may not realize that they are indeed one and the first telltale sign is that the oil in their home is always depleted in the morning. AKA Mento Using a public bathroom is never a pleasant experience for anyone, but to sit down and realize that a ghost was haunting your toilet? AKA Manto hides in the last stall of public or school toilets, and when the victim sits down, he will ask you to make a choice between red or blue toilet paper. Red and he'll slash you until you are drenched red in your own blood. Blue, and he'll strangle you to death until you turn blue. Not the most considerate fellow when it comes to bathroom privacy now is he. AKA Manto is best known for 
So what happens if you try to outsmart a K.A. Manto by saying a color other than red or blue? If you say a color such as yellow, a K.A. Manto will become enraged and drag you down to the underworld through, you guessed it, the toilet. It is said that the only way to beat a K.A. Manto is to simply reject his offer of red or blue paper, when offered. If ignoring him is all it takes, maybe in reality all he ever wanted was attention after all.